In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at how we can trace bitmaps manually using the drawing tools. Now the software has powerful drawing and vector editing tools to make tracing bitmaps manually a fairly easy process once you understand the tools that you have to work with. Now the benefits of tracing images manually in the software is that you can create cleaner vectors right from the start. So the process of vectorizing an image manually may be a little bit slower than using the trace bitmap option, however the editing of vectors is very minimal. Now there is no right or wrong way to vectorize an image, it's just about finding out what works best for you. So let's have a look within the drawing tab at the many tools that we can use to draw and edit vectors. So if we go up to the top here you can see that we've got this create vectors section. Okay, it's got many tools in here to draw vectors. Top line we've got lots of different shapes we can use from drawing circles to ellipses all the way to things like stars. The second line we have the options to draw in lines or polylines, arcs, and draw curves that will create nice smooth shapes. Okay, we have other things such as text. If we move on to transform objects, now what we can do with this is we can take vectors we already have and we can transform them. So what we can do, we can either move them, we can size them, rotate them, we can mirror them, and we could do things such as distort in them. We can also align them to other objects within our job. Then we move on to edit objects, so we can edit vectors that we have. So we can look at things like node editing, we can look at trimming vectors, so we can interactively go in there and trim uh, different vectors. And then we have things like offsetting vectors. Now when we're tracing images in the software, a good tip is just to play with all of the tools, that way you can see what they're capable of. The more you know what a tool can do, the easier it is for you to determine the sorts of shapes that you want to create. So as a quick example, if we take a look at the bear's head, we can see it's a rather rounded shape. And there are many ways that I can draw this, so let's have a look at a few of those now. So first I could simply just use the polyline tool. So let's select that, just go in there and just roughly sketch around the shape and join that up. Okay, if I come out of there, I can select that vector, go into node edit mode. I'm just going to select all of those nodes and smooth them. Okay, and then I'd simply just do a little bit of node editing to get the general shape of the bear's head. Okay, now if you're not familiar with node editing, there are a few tips and tricks videos that focus primarily on node editing to help you uh, understand uh, some of the techniques there. Okay, so you can see that's one way of creating that rounded shape, so we can take that, delete that. Another option is I could just use a draw curve option, so similar to the polyline tool, this simply uh, just creates smooth uh, node points straight away when I'm joining those up. Okay, so you can see that there, quite a rounded shape there, you can take that vector and delete that. Or another way I could do this is by using the ellipse tool, so let's go in there and just roughly trace out a rough shape of the bear's head, you can see that vector there, close that down, we'll go into node edit mode by pressing N on the keyboard, that's the shortcut key, and then I'd simply just uh, move the nodes around so that it follows the shape of the image within our bitmap there and you can see we've got a nice circular head shape for the bear there. And so you can see that there are many tools that you can use to create the same shape. It's just finding out which tool works best for you. And there is a follow up video to this video that looks at some of the other vector drawing and vector editing tools that we mentioned in this video. So that concludes this short introduction to manually tracing vectors in the software. Thank you for watching.